Hey guys, it's Mike with Victor Bravo. Today we're talking about what kind of questions when you're walking through a property should you ask a seller? I'm gonna give you the three top questions that I ask when I go through a property. Number one, I ask, especially if I know that it is on well and septic, I ask them, do you have a current septic and well report? Do you know what the well yield is? Is there any bacteria in the well? Do you have a filtration system? Okay, in regards to the septic, when was the septic put in? Is it a concrete tank? How are the leach fields? Okay, these questions are absolutely crucial. We have one of our investment partners right now that bought a property, didn't necessarily do the due diligence on the septic tank. They get the house fully renovated and it's time to sell. And after their inspections from the potential buyer, they realized that the septic tank was bad, okay? Now, two years ago, it might have not have been that big of a deal to where you can you know, get a perk test, file for the permit, get the septic tank, and do it. Due to COVID, we have had to adapt. Permit times, pulling permits, getting the counties uh, out there to do the perk tests, scheduling companies that are absolutely behind and busy right now, it can delay you by up to three or four months right now is what we're seeing. So doing your due diligence, asking, hey, how's the septic and well? You know, don't necessarily take the seller's word for it. Everybody's always gonna say, oh, it's great, it's working well. Make sure you do your due diligence, ask them, see if they have any documentation on it. That is really how you can protect yourself. Number two, what I would ask is, when is the last time the roof and the mechanical systems have been updated, okay? Once again, you can do your own due diligence on this fact. You can go down into the basement or wherever your utility closet is, and you can actually go to the HVAC equipment, and on the side or on the inside panel of the unit, it'll have a model number. You could type that model number in on Google, and it'll tell you the manufacturing date, if it doesn't already say it on there. To me, if it's any more than about 10 or 15 years old, and it's not a higher-end unit like a train or a crane unit, I'm gonna just calculate in my head that I gotta swap that unit out, okay? Um, when I'm rehabbing houses, I wanna make sure I'm putting out the top quality product for the end buyer. At the end of the day, if I wouldn't personally move into one of my properties, I'm not gonna put that product out, okay? So, number one, well and septic. Make sure you ask those questions. Number two, mechanical systems and roof, okay? And number three, and probably one of the more important things is if you look on Estat, now Estat is a Maryland website where you can look up real property information. Now if you go on Estat and the property says it's 1,100 square feet, but you get to the property and you notice there is a huge addition in the rear or a second floor addition, and once again on Estat it says it's a three bed, but you get there and it's a four, do your due diligence. Hey. Did you pull permits for this uh, big addition here? Was it all inspected by the county? Um, did they sign off on everything? And you know, more importantly, did you add bathrooms? Did you add uh, you know bedrooms to it? Especially here comes the septic tank again. If you had a 1,200 gallon tank and it was a two bedroom house, and now the homeowner put in three or four more bathrooms and one or two more bedrooms, and it's still that 1,200 gallon tank, that's not going to fly you're gonna to have to increase that tank to a 1500 gallon tank. So asking homeowners and sellers questions when you're buying their properties can help you get a better understanding about the property, but at the same time, I cannot urge it enough, you have to do your own due diligence. Use the county as a resource. Now once again, this is Maryland specific. I'm sure in you know, other states they have similar different websites that you can go to, different county departments that you can talk to. When you're dealing with well and septic, when you're dealing with anything environmental when it comes to a house, you can contact any county and ask them for what's known as a PIA request form, okay? With this form, you can fill out the requested information. You can let them know that you, know, you have a contract and you're ready to close onto the property. You just wanna get some information. Um, so I encourage you to do that. Ask the sellers questions. At the end of the day, more information is better, okay?